Hi everyone, Patrick here, and today I wanted to make a follow-up video to my original video, How to Be a Good Server and Make Better Tips. So since I made that video, I got a lot of positive comments and requests asking for another video about how to talk to your customers, how to start a conversation. Now if you've been a server or waiter for any amount of time, you're probably already aware of the benefits that having a conversation with your customers and getting just the communication going what that can do for you, what it can do for your sales and your tip average. So, how do we go about that? Well, first of all, as a waiter or a server, you're going to want to know your location. You're going to want to understand where your restaurant fits into the greater scheme as well. So, is your restaurant located in a very touristy part of town? Is it in a giant shopping center? Um, is it a fine dining restaurant? Is it a giant corporate chain restaurant that say you know you'd find on the side of the freeway in suburban America? Or is it a mom and pop restaurant on Main Street? Well, you answer all these questions and you'll feel automatically more comfortable in understanding and knowing your potential patron. So, everybody is different, right? When you approach a table, everyone is a different human being experiencing different emotions that day. As long as you start out with this in mind, you'll be able to read your customer a lot better than if you just walk up not thinking or you know trying to understand anything. So some people want to be talked to. Some people want to have light, fun conversation. Some people are in a hurry and they don't. You got to recognize this beforehand. But as a general rule, it's always a good idea to try to start a conversation with your tables. So now that you know where you are and you know what kind of clientele you get and now you've read the customer's emotions a little bit and you've gotten a gauge on the situation now you can open up with some conversation this can be totally observational like you could say oh I oh, doing some good shopping today you know if they have shopping bags or if they're all dressed up you know you can be like oh out for a night on the town huh um, another great thing is just ask an open-ended question like uh, like like so how's your day going you know as long as you're genuine caring and you express that you know you, you actually care you're letting them talk about themselves which people love because let's face it most people just want to talk about themselves so if you give them that opportunity and you give them the floor chances are they're going to take it and like you for it now let's see here another thing you can do to start a conversation with your tables is to provide extra value so if you know of something cool that's going on in town you can let them know about it, or you can ask them if they heard about it, or if they're going to it. You know, um, you can all if if they're from out of town, if they're tourists, you know, you can ask them if they're enjoying their stay. You can welcome them to your city, and you can give them some ideas of some cool places to go, or ask them, you know, so what do you ha what have you been seeing since you've been here? You've been enjoying your your trip. So as long as you're just genuine and you open the floor with a nice, innocent comment, it can be observational, situational. People will get a good vibe from you and they will be 100% more likely to open up and continue conversation with you. Ultimately, starting a conversation with people if you're shy or introverted can be tough, okay? But you have to make it a discipline. This has to be a consistent thing that you force yourself to do. At every table, you just ask them, you know, like, so how's your day going? Or, you know, you switch it up and you say something else. But you're always trying, and this is going to open up a world of opportunity for you. So never give up. Be confident. And if you feel like you have problems with confidence, here's what you can do about that. With experience comes confidence. So as long as you're always trying to start a conversation, you will learn what you need to do to adjust to make it happen. Also, you can always you know, exercise, you can eat healthier choices, you can pick up a, a hobby or something that you're passionate about. You know, what are your goals and your dreams? Um, this can all be um, you know, your source of confidence. Remember, people like it when people are happy and if you just go around your tables with a slight smile and a spontaneous attitude and an open heart you know with a positive expectation chances are good communication can and will happen so try to be in a good mood try to be happy and try to share the love basically and the love will be shared with you in the form of conversation good tips and high check averages well I hope this video has been helpful to you if you have any tips or suggestions yourself please leave them below. Now, something I've done to increase my confidence in my communication over the years is to read self-help books, like psychology books. Um, some good books I've, I've read are uh, Deepak Chopra, The um, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, and um, you know a host of others. But 
if you're reading these kind of books, I feel like you will start to understand the human condition and your human nature, and then you'll understand that, wow, you know what? Everybody is different, but everybody's very similar and motivated by similar things. Everyone has some degree of self-consciousness, nervousness in public or, or talking to people. So all you're doing is you're breaking the ice and you're making it easy for other people to start talking. All right, guys. Well, I hope this has helped. Again, leave your comment below and thanks for tuning in. Take care.